All right, so this is an $800 gaming PC build to play a lot of games at 240 FPS, 360 FPS, and if you want to get into streaming on a budget, this is the PC for you. So press on that like button, subscribe, and without wasting any more time, let's get it with the benchmarks. The first benchmark that we have here, which is CSGO, and we were getting around 600 to 700 frames per second at 1080p, so competitive settings. So yeah, as you can see, this is a CPU intensive game, and you are getting really good FPS because yeah, the CPU is the main focus here fortnite you can get around 360 to around 400 frames per second at fortnite arena and this is one of the most demanding modes in the game call of duty warzone 2 you will find yourself hovering around 144 to 160 frames per second for 800 dollars not a lot of pcs can get you to 144 fps in warzone by the way last but not least we got rainbow six siege and we were getting around 400 to 350 fps and there is also another game here i forgot to tell you about which is valorant and you'll get around 600 to 700 fps so yeah for the cpu we're looking at the one and only intel core i5 13600 kf coupled with the ther uh, thermal take assassin cpu cooler for 20 dollars so total is around 320 dollars this is a cpu cooler combo that gets the job done the 13600 kf is one of the best value for money cpus for gaming right now i recommend you really check it out you know it's got 20 threads so six performance scores and eight efficiency cores totals to around 20 threads yeah it's one of the best cpus when it comes to the multitasking performance one of the best cpus for gaming so you can actually upgrade all the way up to a 4070 ti or a 4080 in the future if you want to and the board we're looking at something that supports this out of the box which is the b760m that's ds3h this one comes with four ram slots in case you want to upgrade in the future a lot of m.2 sata ssd supports you know or m.2 mvme and yeah it goes for 120 dollars it supports our pc just fine and it's a pretty sturdy one as for the ram we're looking at 216 gigabyte sticks of ddr 3200 megahertz ram for silicon power and this goes for 63 dollars since this will be a streaming pc or a fortnite ready gaming pc anything and high fps gaming pc you know yeah 32 gigs seems to be the way to go and for 60 dollars you can go wrong now since we are on a budget we had to cheap out on the ssd so we're only going with a 512 gigabyte ssd but you can actually change that in the future if you'd like to but yeah you, you will have to go over the budget if you want to go with the ssd that's you know higher than this or you have to go with the used gpu now the gpu we're looking at something that's on sale right now the rx 6650 xt now this one provides around the same performance of the rtx 3060 ti which will put the our pc around 850 dollars in overall cost but if you want something cheaper you can go with the amd's rx 6600 but i'd recommend you get it used because brand new right now it's not worth it compared to the 6650 xt it's one of the best value for my Money, budget gpus that you can get right now in my opinion if you want something from nvidia you can go with something like a 2060 super but yeah i'd leave that to you and all the links will be down in the description now the case we're looking at the cheapest case that we can get right now which is the b gears case for 45 dollars yeah this is a budget system so we couldn't go with anything fancy looking you know and the power supply we're looking at 600 watt 80 plus bronze certified power supply because this pc consumes around 450 watt because believe it or not that's a lot actually but 600 watt 80 plus bronze will get the job done and yeah that's been it if you like the video press on the like button if you want to see more that can subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace